In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove uh, simple backgrounds in your uh, SolidWorks or in your, you know, your scientific illustration, right? So this was done in SolidWorks, and uh, and um, now the problem in SolidWorks if I if I'm just gonna make um, make uh, like a background like that. Of course, I have to put this at the back. So right mouse click order to back of page. The problem is it, it is not a transparent uh, PNG, right? So the background is still showing, which is white. Now there are ways to remove the background. The first one is I'm going to click on it first image and then I go to bitmap. And in Corel Draw, there is some, uh, there's a feature named bitmap color mask. I'm going to show you how it, uh, you know how to do it so click on bitmap color mask and then in here it says hide color so what are the colors that you want to hide so i'm going to click on this color selector and then i want to remove the white so just click on the white here and then now here here is the tolerance if i try to click apply it removes some right but then you can also change the tolerance until you get the background all the whites out okay now the problem here is that when I when I change it to 26 tolerance it removed this one because it's it's similar it's white right so you can't really like that one right you can't really uh, remove and if you really take a look there's some here but I think it that doesn't matter if your print is is small okay uh, so that is how the bitmap color mask does, right? So you, you pick a color and then the tolerance and then click on apply. But I can still fix this one because the this one is, the white is transparent already, but this one, so there's a quick fix here. What I can do is I can click on my rectangular tool and I'll just put white there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one, which is my image. And then I go to objects, order, um, to front of page. And if you notice, the white is there. But if I go to view and then click on simple wireframe, so what I did, I put a white box first and then the image here. And then so, so this one will be transparent, but I have a white box here, so it will show as white. Okay, so, so that is the first method. I'm just gonna copy this one or you know what I'm just gonna copy the whole thing so that we can see the difference and I'm gonna do undo until we have the original image okay so I have this one now the second way is uh, it's cleaner and uh, I'm not saying it's easier but with this one it's easy because it's all straight lines so yeah, let me demonstrate so you go to Bezier tool, make sure nothing selected, and then you go to the Bezier tool. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to zoom in a bit here, and then I'm just going to outline. But make sure when you outline, it has to go inside a little bit in your image. So for example, here I can cut there, I can move it here, and then if you have this one, that's fine. Just put another one here because we can fix that later. And then here, and if you want to be really picky, you can still do it like that. And then you're gonna close it. Now it is important to make sure that it's closed. Now, the uh, how the how would you know if it's closed? Uh, you all you can go to the fill, and if it feels like that, means to say the object is closed, right? I'm gonna remove the fill by clicking on this one here. So the next thing we we'll do is we're going to round the corners like this one here, this one, this one, and something, okay? So you click on your shape tool, and then I would select all, or drag, make it a, a crossing window, and then I go curve. This one's important because if not, you can't curve it, convert to curve, okay? Now I'm gonna zoom in here. So I click on this, and then I can reshape it. That's if you are picky. So with this one, go like that. Not quite. 
okay it's a it's a bit of work but i think the result is better than the the first method that we did the bitmap color mask this one is okay i intentionally did that so that no white white uh, area would show up so it has to be inside inward so this is fine we didn't do a curve there and this one we just click on this and then okay so now i'm ready so now what we're gonna do is we're going to click on the image and then we're gonna power clip it so click on objects click on power clip place inside the frame the frame is the one that we the shape that we just did and make sure to click on the line there and what you can do since you did an outline you can remove the outline I right mouse click on this one or you can always go here double click and then you just say none and click OK there that is clean I'm gonna paste the first one that we did oh is that the one no sorry anyway I lost the first one uh, anyway it's cleaner right I didn't do any and if I go to wireframe and you'll see it's just one single object we didn't put a square make it white this is the preferred way I mean it's a bit of effort but see what else I can do here I can make this I can put a drop shadow and it's clean right and it stands out so two choices bitmap uh, bitmap masking uh, bitmap color mask or you do the shape and then power clip that's it